Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing More Than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 42 of the 120 days to jam piece of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering jam interpretation questions, sentences, interpretation. We are making use of the Latin Jam application for the questions and for your assignments. If at this point you've not gotten the Latin Jam application, you are wrong. Look at this question. Abdullah hasn't doesn't have to go to the farm today. Abdullah doesn't have to go to the farm today. Abdullah does not have to go to the farm today. That simply means the answer is in Abdullah's hand. She may choose to go to the farm. She may choose not to go. You can't stop her or you can ask her to go. We are not forcing her to go. We are not forcing her not to go. So, Abdullah may go to the farm if only she wishes. Abdullah doesn't have to go to the farm today. That is the meaning of this statement. Let's take a look at the options. Option A says, Adela should not go to the farm today. Should is a command. You should not do it. It means you are giving your opinion. You are pushing what you think. But this is a neutral statement, which leaves Adela to decide whether she wants to go to the farm or she, she's not going to the farm. Option D says, Abdullah must not go to the farm today. No. Then C says, Abdullah ought not to have gone to the farm today. Ought not to have gone. Option C is suggesting that Abdullah already went to the farm. Wrong. And D and A, they are more of command or pushing their opinion. But this statement is like, she doesn't have to go to the farm today. It doesn't mean she must not go to the farm. And it doesn't mean she should not go to the farm. It means Abdullah may go to the farm today if he so wishes or if he doesn't want to go to the farm. So that is the meaning. And the next question. Hard-working students should not have a finger in every pie at school. Hard-working students should not have a finger in every pie at school. That means hard-working students do not participate in all activities in the school. That is the meaning of having your finger in every pie in the school. The students were advised to face their studies and let sleeping dogs lie. To let sleeping dogs lie means to leave matters as they are now. Don't bring out matter when there is no matter. Don't wake up. Don't raise issues that we've already discussed. Let issues go. Let this be the way it should be. A says, Organize themselves properly. So option A is trying to tell us that the students were advised to face their studies and let sleeping dogs lie mean they should organize themselves properly. Option B means leave matters as they are now. Option C, obey the authorities. And option D, be as watchful as a sleeping, as sleeping dogs. <laughs> Any option that gives literal meaning of the Statement is always or 99.9% of the time not correct. So the fact that we are talking about letting sleeping dogs lie doesn't mean we really mean or we are talking about a literal dog. To let sleeping dogs lie means to leave matters as they are now. Adawo is an imp. Adawo is an imp. Imp means naughty, mischievous, and rascal. So if Adawo is an imp, the best option should be 
Adawo behaves badly. That is the best interpretation for Adawo is an imp. Zinana's examination result was not unfavorable. Zinana's examination result was not unfavorable. If the examination was not unfavorable, or if the examination result was not unfavorable, it simply means it was unfavorable. If I say it was not bad, it means it was good, right? So it was not unfavorable. Was not negative, unfavorable, negative. Negative and negative will give you positive. So Adawa's result was favorable. And what does it mean for results to be favorable? It means you pass. If you don't pass the exam, then the result is not favorable. Let's look at the option. A. Her results could not end her admission. We don't even know whether the result is for admission or normal class exam. So we shouldn't go that far. Option B. She failed her examination. If she failed her examination, that means it was not favorable. But in this case, it was favorable. Option C. She was successful in the examination. If she was successful in the examination, it means the examination result was favorable. So option C makes a lot of sense. And option D says her examination did not meet her expectation. Nothing like that. Did it tell us anything like that? So favorable means it even met her expectation. If it didn't meet her expectation, then it's not favorable. Favorable means she was happy with the result and she passed the examination. Option C is most appropriate. And the last question for this episode says James and Henry were as daggers drawn when I knew them. This means that they were always angry with each other. To be a dagger's done means they were always angry with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this class. I hope you found this helpful. See you in the next episode.